This video is sponsored by Altium. So how to use DALI2? So uh, actually, okay. So actually, if you're wondering how to use DALI2, the makers of the AI art and generators have just announced that they will be massively expanding access to DALI2 in the next few months or weeks, and they launched the platform in beta with a new credit-based model. So finally, those who are already on the waiting list, apparently over a million people may be able to use DALI2, and they were invited, uh, but there will be now be a cost involved. DALI2 has been making waves since it was first revealed back in April because it looks like it might be most advanced AI art generator yet. And while some people are understandably concerned about where AI might leave human creativity, some artists and designers have been learning how to make the tool work for them. So how to use DALI2? The tool generator art based on text prompts. The tool generates art based on text prompts. So on the face of it, that couldn't be more simple. So you type in what you want and DALI2 will create the network, uh, the artwork for you. In reality though, it appears that results can be a little haphazard and that can be useful to learn how to hone your prompts to increase the likelihood of getting results you want. So that's where a new DALI2 prompt look, uh, book comes in. So. If you prefer to create your own original work that traditional way, so you can see this guide and you can even get one of the best for last. And uh, here we are going to discuss what DALI2 is, how, to, how you can use. DALI2 has a simple premise. You type uh, in a descriptive prompt of up to four characters, 400 characters, for example, if you are going to type an astronaut riding a horse in an impressionist style, and AI magic will create the image. However, anyone who's uh, tried AI art generated has probably, probably found that if you type the first text that occurs to you, the result can be a little weird. But now a handy dally to prompt book provides some advice on how to phrase the prompts to get the results you want. So created by Guy Parsons and published by AR website, the Dal Ari, Gal Ari, the Dali 2 prompt book is a visual resource designed to inspire your own creations using Dali 2. And it offers some valuable pointers on how to get the most out of the AI generators. This video is sponsored by Altium, the industry standard and most professional PCB design software on the market. I've used Altium for designing printed circuit boards to build my own custom Arduinos and high-speed on-edge computer vision projects. When I tested other PCB CAD softwares out there, I found that nothing came close to the flexibility, ease of use, and power of Altium Designer. I mean, if you ever worked on PCB design for computer vision applications, you know that transmitting video signals is a very delicate task, with many high-speed signals that you have to consider in terms of electromagnetic noise, and crosstalk. Altium helps you to easily manage and route high-speed signals with length tuning to ensure that you receive clear image quality on the other end. What's really great is that we have partnered up with Altium to bring you an exclusive discount for our Augmented Startups community. Sign up with the link down below to get 30% off monthly of the perpetual license of Altium Designer. You can also try out Altium Designer for free for the first 15 days. Just click the link down below to get started. Then the 82 slide guide covers techniques for eliciting the results you want from DALI 2. It covers aesthetics and vibes, recommended object adjectives to use to get the feel or composition you are after, and tips on everything from photography to creating painterly portraits and landscapes, film and illustration styles, historic art styles, and 3D art. So for photography, it suggests including proximity, angles, lighting quality, and even lens type in the prompt. For illustration, it provides examples of different styles and uh, media and textures. So it also shows how you can use styles from art history to get interesting results. So the guide point out that even the creators of the DALI 2 don't know what the tool knows and doesn't know. 
instead user have to work out what's the capable of is capable of doing how to get it to do so what they want so one piece of advice is to be specific state whether you, what you want a close up image or a particular angle and remember that an adjective without further definition could be interpreted in different ways so to influence the whole look of an image or something as specific as the style or dress of the subjects so it's unlikely that dali 2 is going to give you the results you want the first time so but the prompt book also shows how to edit images by writing new prompts for specific elements within them so it also shows how you can use dali 2 to combine separate images so what is actually dali 2 dali 2 is a text to image ai generator so is dali 2 available to the public until now, the makers of Dali 2 have been selective about who can use the tool, granting access, free access by invite only. So there is a waiting list, and OpenAI says that around 100,000 people have been given access so far. However, the company has just announced that, that Dali 2 is now in beta and that it expects to expand access significantly over the next few months or weeks. And it says that it will give access to million people. And the wording suggests that this isn't the entire list of people waiting. So that must be some waiting list. So to catch Dali 2 will no longer be completely free to use. Instead, users will be given a limited number of monthly credits with the option to pay to top them uh, up. So it's uh, still not clear when DALI 2 will be made completely public so far. Now you can join the waiting list on DALI 2 website and hope that that might be included in the 1 million you get access over the next month. So uh, is DALI 2 free? One OpenA has been giving select people completely free access to DALI 2 since it opened limited access to the platform but it's now announced a credit based structure as it prepares to open wider public access for the beta version so now new dali 2 users will be given a limited amount of free credits that you can put towards generating editing or creating a variation of an image are creating a variation of an image new images generations return for four images edits and variations three and credits will be refilled each month, but on the descending scale, 15 the first month and then a 15 month after that. So user will be able to buy additional credit at a price of $15 for 115 credits, 115 credits. So those are enough to generate 460 images. OpenAI has invited, uh, invited artists who need financial assistance to apply for a subsidized access for artists who need financial assistance. So. Is there a free DALI 2 alternative? Yes, there are several free AI art generators available as well as Art Breeder Collects, which we mentioned. So like uh, currently in beta, uh, we have also seen Pretty Amazed by DALI Mini, now called Creon and Stable Diffusion, we will see later. So uh, actually this is a comparison in this figure of uh, two DALI versions, DALI E1, DALI 1 and DALI 2. So what you can create in DALI 2, so aside uh, from the fact that uh, restricted access has helped generate a lot of hype. So DALI 2 has not yet been made public to everyone because it's still being tested and developed. Part of that has involved placing checks and restriction on what people can create in DALI 2. So OpenAI says that it's able to start expanding access now thanks to changes in its policies and advances in mitigating bias and toxicity in images generated by the platform. The company says that uh, it made a change that will push DALI 2 to generate images of the people that more accurately reflect the diversity of the world's population if race or gender is not specified in the text prompt. And it says that it's also taken steps to ensure that Platform rejects image uploads that contain realistic looking human faces or likeness of public figures such as politicians and celebrities. 
So OpenAI says it doesn't allow Dali 2 to be used to create images that could cause harm. For example, images showing self-harm, hateful symbols are illegal acts. So it stressed that it has both automated and human monitoring system to prevent this. So as well as to prevent Dali 2 from memorizing faces that appear a lot online. However, it recognizes that there is more work to be done in this area. So how you can use DALL-E 2 for commercial purposes. So until now, OpenAI had prohibited commercial use of uh, gener uh, images generated by DALL-E 2, but in the beta version, it's now giving full usage rights for images created with this platform, and that includes the rights to sell and reprint images and use them uh, on the merchandise. So how you can tell if an image was created by DALL-E 2 AI? So uh, that is, you can tell an image has been created by DALL-E 2 because they contain a signature that looks like a row of colored squares at the bottom right of the image here, as you can see in this case, here bottom right, assuming the image hasn't been cropped. So this is how uh, you can uh, create DALL-E 2. So next, we are going to have a demo of DALL-E 2 AI. I have access to the DALL-E 2, so we will see how we can use DALL-E 2, what we can create in DALL-E 2, and how can you tell if an image was created by DALL-E 2. So let us move to our demo environment. So already I uh, am signed in to log into my DALL-E 2 uh, account at OpenAI, labs.openai.com. So I've already logged in and I have installed my uh, DALL-E 2 uh, app as well on the Windows base app here. Here you can see, so you can see if I'm going to open it. Now it is open here. So I can use any one of them, the web-based or the uh, my app. So let's say here we can create uh, different images by using uh, our text prompt here. And in, uh, let's say I'm going to write what we created with the uh, actually mid journey uh, cat and dog playing uh, on, let's say, mountains. So I'm going to create uh, images according to my this prompt. So uh, now it is in progress as contrary to the uh, uh, the actually uh, mid journey here, you can see it is giving you beautiful type of uh, actually uh, images created based on that prompt. So here you can see. So this is uh, the results are mind blowing and very uh, uh, attractive. And here you can see uh, it had create really, uh, actually, uh, realistic images based on that prompt. So here, let's say, uh, I, if I select this image, let's say this one, and I can make variations of this, and even I can share, I can edit here. If I click variations, so it will create the variations of the same image. So... Uh, now, the selected image, okay, these are different. This was the original one. Now have different variations. Let's say this one, and uh, you can check this one, and this one, and this one. So uh, DALI2 actually gives you really, really interesting results, and even you can save images here. So you can download the image, any image you want, by clicking this uh, option here and it has downloaded here. So then you can open and you can see. Uh, it gives you actually, I'm logged into my account, it, uh, it gives you the credits, I already have 112. But anyways, uh, we can, how we can create these images. So by using DALL-E 2, it's really interesting and it creates really photorealistic images. And you can create different variations and uh, you can even you can edit image. Here you can add, uh, edit the image, generation frame is this one, and you can uh, apply different variations to your image, add generation frame, and then upload, uh, you can upload any image, 
and this uh, image editing is now is in beta so it is part of the image to edit or add a generation frame to extend the image so while this is a beta the full images won't be saved so consider downloading often to use to save your work so this is a really interesting uh, ap uh, application ai based image generator and uh, uh, go and have fun while playing with the DALL-E 2. In the next video, we will look at ImageN and after that, we will discuss about Stable Diffusion.